how to start a project manager career. Are you preparing to become a project manager or transition to a project manager, but you don't know where to start? In this video, I will give you three tips or three steps how to make that happen. My name is Esoe Abalo. On this channel, I speak about project management because I am convinced project management is a life skill you should learn in order to take your result, whether personal or professional, to the next level. First of all, let's see what is the project manager and what project manager do on day-to-day -day life. Project managers are those people coordinating a certain activity in order for an organization or a, an individual to reach a certain goal. Example, an organization wants to build a bridge or a government would like to build a bridge. You will need a project manager who will coordinate all the team in order to achieve the building of that specific bridge. If you are passionate about project management and you would like to become a project manager, here are the three tips I would like to give you. Before we start unrolling the tips, there are three categories of people. You might be a student or you might be already working as a technical professional. Technical professional is someone uh, who does technical work. An engineer in a certain field of uh, work could be IT, could be construction industry, could be in the army, or you can as well be a non-technical professional. And what is a non-technical professional? Here I speak about technical professional or non-technical professional on the per, on the pure level of hard skills. So in this category, I put the accountant, journalist, and all those guys, even though your field of work is still technical to you, right? So I hope we understand each other. Now, my tip number one, think and act like a project manager. In any field, if you like a particular topic, I think the best or the starting point should be to start having the correct mindset. You need to have project managers have a specific mindset. So you, you need to, and what is the specific mindset of a project manager? Project manager is a servant leader. And what servant leadership mean? Project manager is a this kind of person who like to take responsibility and makes things happen. And you can see those people around, around you, whether it's your, your personal life or professional life, people who like to take, take on action, extra work, organize things for, for people, organizing barbecue, organizing parties. This is a very good mindset to have because you take the end result personal. And you will give it your all, make sure everyone else will collaborate in order for you to achieve your result. So the first, first, first tip is to start thinking and acting like a project manager. Second tip, you need to build your project management experience. And how you can build your project management experience when you probably don't have any, or you are a technical lead, or you are already working in a certain position. There are a few ways to do it. If you are a student, or even if you are a professional, technical or non-technical, take volunteering assignment. When you are in a situation where people are looking for volunteers to do a certain work, you should understand that there is no filter. If you go to your director, uh, sorry, I would like to volunteer myself to organize a team building for the company. I think everyone will just accept it. But the moment, you want to be paid for that, then filters start to come. Does he have the experience? Does she has the experience to do it? Do you have uh, the adequate knowledge to do it? Then you will start to be discriminated in terms of uh, the level of skills. I mean, your level of skill can disqualify you for the job. But if you want to do this as a volunteer, you will be always welcome and people will give you the ground to perform the voluntary work. So my first tip is try to volunteer yourself whenever there is a possibility to organize something for a group 
or even manage a project within a company. Every company has opportunities. You need to sniff and find those and go for them. Sometimes opportunities don't really come to you. You need to find them. Then when you put yourself in that uh, position, plus the fact that you have the mindset of a project manager, opportunities will come and you will grab them, start building up. One thing you should remember, the best way of learning something is practice. Practice, practice. My tip number three is develop your project management experience. Now you have the correct mindset. It doesn't matter if you are a student or you are a professional. You, you start taking voluntary action. You always think about the end result, winning, making sure things went smoothly, coordinating people. Then by doing so, you start to build up this small experience and people observe. I mean, people in power, people in charge, they see how you handle things. They will give you more and more challenging assignment. And the more challenging the assignment is, the more experience you get from it, the more lesson you learn from it. And then in order to back up this kind of uh, experience, you need to have a formal or informal education. Informal education is could be to ask for mentorship from experienced people around you, ask, go for conferences. Formal education could be taking on a project management certification, like a PMP. By the way, if you are preparing for your PMP and you don't know how to start, we are starting a PMP mentorship program in March. Feel free to contact me or check the details below. You can subscribe for our mentorship program. We will give you every tool you need in order to pass your PMP for your first attempt. And for those one who are interested in entry-level training, we have also entry-level training to help you to build your project management knowledge. Once you have uh, any of these certification like PMP, Prince to Google Project Management, Google Project Management and CAPM from Project Management Institute are those certification who does not require you any experience, any prior experience. These are quick certification you could as well perform in order to build your experience and get yourself a better chance in getting a better job as a project manager. I receive questions like, Gavin, I would like to get into project management, but I don't know if I should study Scrum or if I should study traditional project management. Guys, project management has two approaches of managing project. When you have a project, you have two approaches in managing a project. One approach is the traditional way or waterfall to manage a project, manage the budget and everything. There are conditions to use such approach. And the second approach is agile. Both approaches are project management. If you want to find out details, feel free to book your one hour free consultation. I will give you all the details you need and we can discuss about your problem. If you like this video or you think someone might be interested to know the content of this video, don't forget to press the like button, share and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any regular update I will be sharing here. As for now, thank you very much and see you next time.